Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. Let's see what's going on for Leo. This is the Light Seer's Tarot. Aries Energy, Queen of Wands. Mm. Staying busy and looking good. You might be feeling very lucky right around now. My camera needs to get it together. Goodness. What was that? <laughs> no, thank you. What else for Leo? Queen of Swords. Magician. I don't know why, but this is like giving me press your luck energy. Like when you're on a game show and you're like, I'm going to spin one more time. And they're like, all right, you know, no whammies, stop. Right? <laughs> like it, it, It's almost like you, you, hmm, you might be on a lucky streak. Everything you touch is just turning to gold. Everything you invest your time and energy in is just reaping the benefits. I mean, the fruits of your labor taste so sweet. There's the king of wands. There could be somebody that's super into you. They're thinking about how can we um, bring this together, create something out of it. Do we have what it takes? Because it's not just based on looks. This person is really thinking about this. They know what their heart is saying, so they're leaving their heart out. I don't know if you can see, but she's kind of like leaving her heart out of this. Looking for the flags and just really taking it all in. Not trying to be biased. I'm just trying to get to the truth. Queen of Swords. Six of Swords. You've got help here. Help from the divine. This could even be serendipity. Yeah, that's the lucky streak, though, is the serendipity. Just things keep going your way, keep going your way. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Again, you know what your heart wants, but what what is your inner truth. What is your higher self trying to tell you? It's all a yes. All of these cards are yes cards. There's not a single no here. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's been watching you. Somebody's thinking. Oh, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. I think your intuition is already telling you this. Their heart is just as... I don't want to say it like that. Y'all are just both deep, okay? <laughs> oh, man. But they're going to go for it. They're going to take a leap of faith here. They have no idea how it's going to turn out, but they know that they'll never know if they don't try. Um, Leo, if this is you, switch the roles. This could be you that's going for it. Six of Wands. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's a yes. Like I said, you're both like just deep for each other. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Virgo on the board. Temperance, Sagittarius. That's the angels. I'm telling you, you've got, you've got helpers here. And that's the serendipity. Again, lover is at the bottom of the deck. 
Aw, Leo, you sap. <laughs> you can't even tell me I'm wrong. You know it. You know it. It's okay. Just own it, honey. It's a good look. Obviously, somebody's deeply interested to you. Uh, interested in you. Sorry. Four of Swords. Wow. Rest assured, this person is not going to hurt you. All right, now, don't go running away because you're scared of success. I don't want to see you sabotage this. This looks really good. Can I get the final card out for Leo? And then I'm going to take a look at the bottom card as well. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a spark here. There's a spark. There's a passion. The tower at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a little surprising. This could be a little shocking to find out that they are feeling the same way as you are. Maybe somebody felt like the other person is way out of their league and they just don't stand a chance. Only to find out, actually, <laughs> you are absolutely in my league. I was actually hoping I was in yours, right? Like, also the serendipity thing. Pay attention to your dreams right now. I feel like your dreams are bringing you a lot of messages. You might even be having some romantic moments with this person in your dreams. Somebody might actually wake up and be like, you know, I had a dream about you. I tell you what, please come back to this video and put it in the comments because somebody is going to call you and say, I dreamt about you last night. They might be a little vague on the details, but they just don't want you to be like creeped out that they're like this into you because you guys have never really talked about this and if you did there was some kind of you know don't catch feelings for me I'm too busy or I don't know if I'm ready <laughs> like well and then all of a sudden pew, there's feelings and deep down you know, yeah, there's a new beginning here. Also, this is your soul, right? Checking in with your soul. There, there's a soul contract here. That's why the serendipity is bringing this in now. It's almost like you learned what you needed to learn and you washed your hands of what you needed to. Basically, you called your shots, you cleaned your shorts, and this is kind of like the divine saying, thank you so much for doing that. Now we would like you to have this. This is for you. It's a gift. You're being gifted here. Nine of Pentacles, you're receiving, oh my God, shut up. The happily ever after card. Be so for real right now. Leo and the strength with the ace of so Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very, mm-hmm. This is a soul contract that you might not be able to break. I don't think you're going to want to, though. There is no way. There's no way you would want to break this. Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Saggy. Cappy, no, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aries. There is no Cappy here. I don't know why that came out. I guess the Ace of Pentacles could be. Yeah, 
Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Third Deacon. No, second Deacon. Interesting. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helps you. It needs to how it needs to. I love you and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.